Hey everyone, welcome to my Nginx tutorial series, where in this video we're going to learn what Nginx is, the functions of Nginx, such as using Nginx as a load balancer, reverse proxy, and web server. We're also going to learn about reloading Nginx versus restarting Nginx, and how to start and stop Nginx. So to begin, what is Nginx? Well, Nginx is a software that can act as a web server, reverse proxy, load balancer, and more. It can handle thousands of concurrent connections with its event-driven and asynchronous architecture. As a result, Nginx is usually placed between clients and application servers to increase performance by managing traffic and distributing it among application servers. Architecturally, Nginx has one master process and several worker processes. The master process reads and evaluates configuration, maintains worker processes, and things like that. The worker processes process the requests. So for this series, we'll be running Nginx on Ubuntu. Most Linux distributions have Nginx in their package repositories and can be installed through usual install methods, such as apt on Debian and things like that. To install Nginx on an operating system different from Ubuntu, use a link I provided in the description. But to install Nginx on a Debian-based Linux distribution, use sudo apt install Nginx. This will install Nginx and any required dependencies. To ensure Nginx was installed successfully, type in the command nginx-v. Now by default, Nginx will be installed in dash etc in a folder called Nginx. etc stands for etc and contains all system configuration files. Change directories to the Nginx folder by using cd-etc-nginx. Now let's talk about starting and stopping Nginx. So when working with Nginx, it won't be uncommon to have times where Nginx needs to be stopped, started, reloaded, or restarted. To start Nginx, we use the command sudo systemctl start Nginx. This command starts the Nginx service. We can stop Nginx using the command sudo systemctl stop Nginx. A common reason to stop Nginx is to change its configuration which we will do in a later, later video, but it should be noted that stopping Nginx will shut down all Nginx processes, even if there are open connections with clients. Now let's talk about restarting versus reloading Nginx. So if we want to load a new configuration into Nginx without any downtime, we can reload Nginx using the command sudo systemctl reload Nginx. But of course, the Nginx service has to be active to reload it, so let's start up Nginx again with sudo systemctl start Nginx. And now, let's try reloading it again. And so, reloading Nginx allows open connections to be handled by lingering worker processes before they are discarded while the configuration is updated. Specifically, when Nginx receives a signal to reload its configuration, it first checks the validity of the configuration file and attempts to apply it. If it is applied successfully, then the master process starts new worker processes and shuts down the old ones. If there are issues with the configuration file, the master process continues to work with the old configuration. And now we can also restart Nginx with sudo systemctl restart Nginx. However, reloading Nginx is safer than restarting. And this is because if there are any problems with a new configuration when restarting Nginx, Nginx will stop and won't start until the error is fixed. And so we've stopped, started, restarted, and reloaded Nginx, but now let's check the status of Nginx. And as Nginx runs in the background as a service, we don't see any statuses on it. However, we can display the status of Nginx by using the command sudo systemctl status Nginx. So this output shows if Nginx is active, so running or inactive. We can see it's active here since this time. If Nginx had issues loading, such as from a bad configuration, the status here will be listed as failed and will be in red. But so there we have it. Adding Nginx to an application can increase performance tremendously. In the next article, we will be going more over how to configure Nginx using the nginx.conf file. But until then, I wanna thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Also let you know that there is an article version of this video available on my website with a link in the description. Besides that, have a good one. See you in the next one.